Looks nice, doesn't it? And as promised, I'll show you the view from the bedroom. In the last episode, I said that the owners of this place are amazing. And this morning I was welcomed with some really nice coffee and another fun chat on the terrace. Eventually they had to work and I had to catch my ferry, so we've said our farewells and went separate ways. The road to the port was my favorite scenery of Pog Island, and I didn't film it. I wanted to go back, but the ferry was already here, so I embarked and was on my way to mainland. After a 20 minute ferry ride, I disembarked just beneath the Velevit mountains and started driving north on a road that is on the edge of Velevit, with sea on the other side. Unfortunately, I didn't film that either, because, well, the answer is in the name of the series. So the footage you're seeing right now is of the same road just on my way back to Split. After maybe an hour and a half of driving, I felt like stopping, so I stopped by in a random place. Right now I'm on my way to Kirk Island and I stopped by the village or town, Seltzer, to find something to eat. My only breakfast were a few cups of coffee, which I don't usually drink, so I might have been under the influence of caffeine because the fact that this is both a promenade and a beach seemed like a huge deal to me. To be fair, this really is an enjoyable promenade, with a nice view of Kirk Island, however, in Croatia it is really not that rare for a promenade to also be a beach. Anyway, on my walk I found a restaurant with an open terrace and ordered some long-deserved chevapi. Lazy around Croatia Croatia is known for its hot and sunny weather in the summer, however, the summer hasn't started yet, so today was not one of those days. Ah, there we go. Clouds and mild rain. Perfect. And what is also perfect is the fact that Kirk Island is connected to mainland with a bridge and today was the first day since the toll for the bridge was removed, so I crossed it for free. Welcome to Kirk Island. The first thing I noticed was the increase in traffic and that the most vehicles were trucks with a tendency to drive over the traffic line. This wasn't the worst case of this happening, but it's the only one I have on film. Anyway, Kirk is the most populous and the second biggest island in Croatia and the Adriatic Sea by a tiny margin. In fact, when I was in middle school I was taught that Kirk was the biggest, so it doesn't come as a surprise that driving through Kirk felt like driving through mainland, greenery with no sight of the sea. It still took just 30 minutes from the bridge to get to the Kirk town. So I'm in Kirk town on the promenade next to the sea. And I see this. Hmm. Anyway, I have no idea what it is, so I'm going to find out. Let's see. It's probably a church, but it doesn't look like a church. It looks like I failed. This seems like a dead end. Uh -huh. yeah. There's nothing here. <laughs> It's a dead end. I mean, there's something here. I just thought that you can enter the city from here. However, look at this. Now, imagine you were living here. See? I'm not sure if anyone lives here or what, but it's pretty much a private beach. And the sea here is pretty clear. I mean, it would be better if it was sunny, you could see it better, but it's pretty clear. Now, this probably isn't somebody's house, it's probably something official or under the city's jurisdiction, but still, looks pretty cool. Kirk Town is the biggest and most populous settlement on the Kirk Island. It was first settled approximately 10 to 15,000 years BC and throughout the history it was under the rule of Illyrians, Romans, Venice, Croatia, Austria, Hungary, France, Italy and even more. But these were the most influential. 
Throughout the history, whole of Croatia was a point of interest and conflict because of its geography, so sadly, the constant change of rulers is not only the case in Kirk. Consequently, present-day Croatia has a very rich and interesting history, so I encourage you to do some research before coming here, because it might increase the enjoyment of your visit. One thing in history that does stand out in Kirk town is the one of the most powerful Croatian noble families, the Frankopan family formerly known as the Krčki family. They were at their prime from 11th to 17th century and played an important role in keeping the Croatian entity throughout the history. They are also the main culprit for the way that the old part of the Krk town looks today. Even though at the time I wasn't completely familiar with the town's history, exploring it made me want to learn more. It was the most real case of pictures saying a thousand words I've ever felt. There are so many of these picturesque Sweet. I mean, this is pretty much Instagram heaven and there's no one here. Of course, I had to take a selfie. Eventually, I ended up next to the bell tower, and it was indeed a church, the Krk Cathedral that dates back to 12th century. Since I was really enjoying my walk, I just kept walking whenever I saw something interesting. Right next to the cathedral were the town walls with a fort. And when I went a bit further, there was a nice looking park on the walls overlooking the cove. Lazy around Croatia. My butt is looking nice. I didn't really plan on going into the sea and having a swim, but it looks so good. So I kind of couldn't resist it. I mean, look at how clear this is. And there's a lot of sea urchins, meaning that it's also very clean. So, why not? And actually, it's pretty warm outside and the sea is the same temperature as it is outside, so it's not even cold. It's just a bit cloudy. Pretty good, I'd say. 10 out of 10 will do again. So if you're wondering why I look like a hipster geek with my clothes and glasses on and how I turn into a sexy hunk when those are off, it's because I'm Superman. Jesus Christ, no. Just no. We're lucky that my parking ticket expired, so I didn't have time for more terrible humor. The thing is, I felt so good, calm, and at home in Kirktown, so that might be why I had the audacity to commit this crime of a joke. Anyway, Kirk has left a great impression on me and is one of the few places that I feel the strong need to visit again. That being said, I was now on my way to Bashka village, located on the south of the island. It took me another 30 minutes to arrive there and I thought it would be the end of the road, since there aren't any settlements further south, but I was wrong. The road kept going and so did I. After maybe a minute, I arrived at the gate of a naturist camp. I didn't know that existed, but thinking about it, it makes perfect sense. Since I wasn't interested in that type of camping, I went back to the village and found a parking spot. Right now I'm on the Kirk Island in the town of Bashka, which is actually a very important town for Croatian history because a Croatian monument, I'm not sure if it's a monument or an artifact, I think it's an artifact. A Croatian artifact called the Bashchanska Ploča was found here, or actually near this place. But yeah, a little bit of history 
in the voiceover. I really like how I just gave up and redirected myself to the voiceover. So let's go! Varshanska Plocha is the oldest monument written in Croatian language and it dates back to the beginning of 12th century. It was written with the Glagolitic script and it is considered as one of the most important Croatian monuments. Varshka itself is a small village located in a bay between two hills with a view of the Lebit mountains and some islands. After spending some time roaming around the village, I sat down for a pizza in the restaurant on a promenade and had my dinner while the day was slowly turning to night. The scenery was just beautiful to the point that I was feeling so good that I left a 40% tip to the waitress in the restaurant. The service was great, but still, I ripped myself off. As you can see, it's about to get dark. It's around 8.30 pm and it's just such chill, quiet atmosphere with people just enjoying themselves, including me. I also met some friendly people who show me where the where to go for a, to find a good beach? So I won't be going today, but I will see if I can catch them maybe tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'm enjoying this trip for now very very much. I'm very happy that I did this for now. Until somebody mugs me, rapes me, or kills me. I didn't film anything after Bashka because it was nighttime shortly after and I spent the rest of the day driving around the island looking for a spot where I can again spend the night in my car. After an hour of aimless driving and almost hitting a deer on my way, I made it back to the Kirk town. I parked my car in the residential area and went to sleep. The end. Thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, make sure to follow me on YouTube and other social media for more. Come again next Thursday, when I finally make my way to Istra Peninsula. Almost always... Almost always...